Take me to your leader. 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 <laughs> Hello, Welcome. YouTube. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to vlog You're gonna 98. Learn. You're going to learn about Tom DeLong today. Tom DeLong. You just wait until later. <laughs> We're foreshadowing. That's foreshadowing. That's, foreshadowing. Some good, that's some good marketing. Foreshadowing. It gets, people, it gets people into the watching the video because it's foreshadowing. It's uh, a technique. All right, see ya. Hello, YouTube. This is Cole with Regal Metalworks. So today we're working on the exhaust vent for the big furnace. And some of the updates I have done that I don't think I got documented is I built this guy right here. We had this fellow on here. It's an oval out and I 12 inch pipe, so that's like 14 by 9 or something stupid like that. I don't know why they just didn't put a 12 incher. And this is not stuff that you can readily find. Even finding 12 inch exhaust tubing, whether single wall or dual wall, is a little difficult to find as well. So I decided I'm just going to make my own and roll my own, and that's basically what I did. I made a new box here, bent this all around, drew this up in Fusion 360 sheet metal, um, made my ends, welded the ends on. And then made my ring, rolled the ring, so that we have a port to attach to. So right now, all I have to do is run that straight up, but I'm going to have to make a 90 degree turn up there at the wall and, and head out that wall. I decided I'm going to go that way instead of going over to here because that's a lot of distance and material costs. It, it's pretty expensive. A 12 inch pipe is, that's actually 37.68 inches wide. So it's almost, it's almost a full sheet. Uh, if you, you know, would run it eight foot, that would be a full sheet of metal and also a pain in the butt to roll. So what I figured I would do is just run it straight up, straight out. I'm just going to knock out the brick there. I'm going to make a base plate that goes around that mounts to the wall and then another port that goes straight through it. And then my exhaust will head straight out. That way I'm using the least amount of material. I have to do a 90 degree bend up there. So normally you would do like a, a pie cut or buy a pie cut or not a pie cut, but one of the pieces that are 90 degree bends. But like I said, 12 inch is very difficult to find. So I decided that I was gonna go ahead. I've done plenty of car exhaust making pie cuts. So I figured, hey, it would be easy, you know, we'll just do it. Problem is my bandsaw, I think the maximum width it'll cut is 11 inches and this is 12 inch. So, and that's, that's at a 90 degree angle would be 11 inches. So as soon as you turn that, you're, it starts getting smaller and smaller. And I need nine degree cuts. I decided I would try and draw this up in Fusion and cut it out. I ran into my first piece I did, I ran, I deleted it out of here, I think. Yeah, I deleted it out of there. But you can see over here, I just did it at an angle piece like that. And I figured, wow, you wrap it around, whatever. Problem is these points, at both ends leaves a, a very inconsistent gap. I wasn't sure how the heck, you know, I was like, wow, how do they do that? So I took a pie cut that I had previously and I decided to cut it in half. I decided to cut one of my previous pie cuts that I had in half and much to my chagrin, I discovered that it has a very nice radius arc in three spots, one here, one in the middle, and one on the far right and then back on the other side. So I was like, well, how the heck am I gonna produce that? I figure I could try and draw this up in Fusion 360, but there's no real way. Well, I can draw this up in Fusion 360, but I had to make sure I got these numbers right. And uh, I got really close. I got really close. Uh, I did a test piece, rolled it, and uh, I mean, there's a tiny little gap right here and right there, enough that I can fill with weld that I'm not even gonna worry about it. I was hoping that I could find like some formula online or YouTube video, but nobody's really doing this from what I guess. And there's no infusion 360 in their sheet metal. I thought maybe I could draw it and then un unfold it, but it's not allowing me to do that, which would be really uh, awesome if it could. So this is the shape I got. It looks almost like a uh, weight support belt that you would wear for lifting or uh, for lifting heavy items. Here I got my piece test my test piece up and, and running here you can see there's a slight little gap there not not a huge ordeal i can fill that, fill that with weld same thing with here 
I mean, I would like to get that out, but without knowing exactly the measurements, I'm just, you know, stabbing an air to it. Um, that was the first one I did. The second one I did, I did try and take that out a little bit. I might have got a little bit out, but I'm still, there's still a little bit there. And whatnot. I need five pie cuts, so I got four cut. I need one more cut. I need to roll them, tack them up, and then lay them together and tack them together and, and see if we got a 90. So here we're just cutting the last cut. up a little bit, wipe off all the oils that are on it, and roll her up. Dan, what do you got there? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs>
Well, we got a package in the mail. From Larry David. Larry David sent us a package. Thanks, Larry. Mm -hmm. Love your show. Now, Harry and David uh, Harry send David. us the love. Send us the love. So this came yesterday via FedEx from Shop Saber. Shop Saber. For their appreciation of our help this year. I guess we oh, sent them a brown uh, bag. <laughs> fresh fruit. Pack below. Ah, who wants that fruit stuff? Now uh, we helped. Them, uh, we sent two customers that purchased machines their way. Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Yeah, buddy! What? That's Trail the mix. fruit, and that's fruit too, because it's an apple. Look at that. Looks good. <laughs> Looks like there's a dent in it. This one. This one's wrapped up. Oh, there's so many apples in here, dude. Oh, there's a lot of apples. Get all these apples. Hold your tongue and say apple. I'm a... Athole. <laughs> Athole. I'm going to have to blur that out. Why? Well, that's very healthy. Let's open this and eat this. Okay. And by healthy, you mean great. It's healthy. I am grateful for everything. There's nanners in here. Ew. <laughs> I'm a metal worker. I've got metal. Oh. I saved it all. What are those? Yogurt raisins? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Worth the whole bag. <laughs> I mean, basket. Well, hurry up and eat these before the mice get up. We discovered the mouse. Mice had gotten into our refrigerator and uh, liberated some bread and cheese. Want to show them or will we get shut down by OSHA? <laughs> no, that's pretty gross. Luckily, I'd never it's eat anything. Gross. What? Luckily, I'd never eat anything out of the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So, how this is how this thing's coming along. She's about done. We had a little bit of a gap here that was a little too big for me really to fill with weld. So I said, it'd be cool if I made like little buckles. And we'll just weld the buckles on. Because, oh, these. <laughs> what? I don't know. You it's a lot of welding. Thing. I think I've been welding on it for like two hours. <laughs> yeah. It's cold though. So you haven't been really welding on it because it's cold. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and finish welding these buckles. I'm gonna away. go ahead and eat this whole thing. Yerp. And then be mad at myself for eating so many carbs. It's okay, I'm not gonna be mad at myself. Mmm, this candy. Mm. Oh, I'm broken, I'm Well, this little thing here is an exhaust tube that I just made. Tube! <laughs> and uh, we did uh, some cross braces there to fill some gap that I just wasn't comfortable feeling with weld. What goes inside it? My fist. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, um, what do you want for Christmas? Well, I was really hoping that my friend uh, James would come home. 
James, I remember that name. I'm Dan, I'm all so crazy. Um, you know, I heard James is like in the Dagobah system at a Starbase. Is that really true? Did you hear that? I don't know about that per se, but this is really pretty. That too. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I could sit down here and um, I don't know, check put it out. Head, put Maybe your head in it. Put my head in I don't know. Um, wh where does it go? Where, what do you put it on? Uh, we're going to put it on this, this machine here. What does that machine do? Well, that machine is basically so that we can transport Dan to go see James. So is it like a teleport machine? Sure. Why not? And what, is it, what does it do? Well, it's going to, you know, go up to the right and then to the left. And then at some point, it's going to send James through that little tube, which would be a feat of physical science. And then Dan will pop out the other side. So James will come and suddenly reappear. What if I put my face? I'm Dan. I'm Dan. I'm wearing a blue and orange jacket. Did you like that? Did you like that? <laughs> Did you like that? Let me do it again. Hello, James. Can you hear me, James? James. I don't quite think that's how it works. I think oh, you're well, supposed to. I'm just to... trying. I'm trying to be there for you, buddy. I think it pulls I'm trying you. To be there for I you, buddy. think it pulls you completely. I'm trying in. to be there for you, buddy. <laughs> I well. Okay. So. Yeah. So. Um. Well. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's special. I don't know what's wrong with that boy. But. Oh no! There's nothing wrong. I have Christmas spirit. I'm Christmas spirit. You have Christmas something. I, I love Christmas. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Christmas spirit. Christmas. Yeah. Something. Okay. So what we have here is uh, it's Christmas and Dan is ridiculous. So we're just going to go ahead and wish people a very Merry Christmas because this is probably our last vlog before Christmas. We want James to come home. Hopefully Santa will bring James home. Yeah. Okay, all right, well. James. James, I want James. We need James home. I want James. We miss James, so if he can come home, he's, please, he's lost. Santa. Santa, if you can bring him home. Santa, baby, bring James under the tree for me, Dan. Yeah, okay, <laughs> all right, so. James, this is, home. yeah, okay. He's gone, he's know. lost, yep. he's been lost for months. Yes, we haven't seen him in months, months, and, and no, we're, not months. We're worried. We're hoping that we he will show up. We think he may be a time traveler. Yes, Ooh. bye.